excerpts from Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. In 1954, this was the issue of primary concern. Although these so-called moral issues were raised in view of the law of natural selection, it was agreed that a nation or a world of people who will not use their intelligence are no better than animals who do not have intelligence. Such people are beasts of burden and stakes on the table by choice and consent. The quality of education given to the lower class must be of the poorest sort, so that the mote of ignorance isolating the inferior class from the superior class is and remains incomprehensible to the inferior class. With such an initial handicap, even bright lower class individuals have little, if any, hope of extricating themselves from their assigned lot in life. This form of slavery is essential to maintaining some measure of social order, peace, and tranquility for the ruling upper class. Since most of the general public will not exercise restraint, there are only two alternatives to reduce the economic inductance of the system. One, let the populace bludgeon each other to death in war, which will only result in a total destruction of the living earth. Number two, take control of the world by the use of economic silent weapons in a form of quiet warfare and reduce the economic inductance of the world to a safe level by a process of benevolent slavery and genocide. To check out this narration in its entirety, please visit vonnypodcast.com forward slash 80 or search for The Vonnie Podcast on your favorite podcatcher.